Ah. Hi, hello. Welcome back to Bottomless Brunch of Coleman's. I'm your good friend Coleman Domingo, as if you didn't know that already. Hey, you come to my zen space. I've been out here just killing it with Mother Nature. I have such a green thumb. This is orange, but it's actually green. You wanna see what I've been doing? I planted some seeds about a month ago, and now, look at that. Bam! Look what I did. <laughs> He's gonna make some amazing apple pie. You wanna go inside? Maybe I'll make a pie today. I have some good friends joining us for a good cocktail, for some great conversation, and just to take a chill moment. We'll see you inside. Come on. Let's bring in my delightful brunch guests, okay? I work with both of these lovely ladies on a little, tiny little show called Fear the Walking Dead. Here, I have my friend, Alicia. Boom, boom, Debenham Carey. How you doing, Alicia? <laughs> I'm good. I've never had that introduction before. Well, also I have someone who plays your delicious, you know, mama bear mama. Her name is Kim the Hammer Dickens. Thank you. <laughs> Nice to see you. Good to see you. And you know this man from Stranger Things, from Fleabag, and I know him from putting his fingers into the sweet potatoes at my last year Thanksgiving dinner. Please welcome the most inappropriate dinner guest, Brett Gelman. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Coleman. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the sweet potatoes. Are you like putting your fingers in sweet potatoes? Yeah. I like the sensation of that. Oh, it feels good. It feels like childhood. <laughs> Who doesn't? Because you know, I ask the hard questions. I'm like Barbara Walters back when she yes. was Barbara Wawa. I'm not nervous to do the interview with you. I was excited to do the actual interview. It was the oh, it was the tech setup, and then I just moved. So ah, hence the boxes behind you. Great, I get it. Yeah, which I put there. Ah, uh, perfect. It's nice props. Ah, uh, what you make? Come on. Alicia, I want to know, what did you make? Okay, I made uh, some like oat kind of thing um, with blueberries you... and uh, agave and some walnuts. You always make the best breakfasts. It doesn't look so good now, but y you it's make a good um, Very nice. Bowl. Very nice. Kim, Kim Dickens, what did you make? Are you sitting? I'm, I'm sitting. I have power pancakes <gasps> with mango on top. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, yours look and amazing. I call them the Kevin Bacon pancakes because I stole the recipe from him because he did it on his Instagram. It's three ingredients. It's eggs, two eggs, a ripe banana, almond butter, a scoop of almond butter with no sugar in it. So there's no sugar besides the banana in it. You mash it up and you make it like pancakes and they're amazing. Oh, Ooh, that sounds so quite. good. You wanna see them again? That's delicious. What about you, Mr. Brett Gelman? I made my famous soy riso breakfast burrito, and uh, it doesn't take a very long time to make. I have a soy garden in my new in my new house. The thing that takes the most time is the paper that I make. I make my own oh, paper. Wow. That, that, yeah, that yeah. Is incredible. I definitely didn't get it uh, delivered to me by a restaurant. No, by Postmates <laughs> or anything. Good. And no, you, you know, no, 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 no. <laughs> of course, of course not. <laughs> well, I, I got something because uh, this would make Kim Dickens laugh. I decided to um, get my best life on again this morning and reset. <laughs> Kim, would you like to explain to our, our friends what, what that means to me yeah. on set? During filming in Mexico, at least once a week, <laughs> in the makeup trailer at like 5 a.m. or something, Coleman would look over to me and he'd say, um, you know, he'd just order eggs or something. He'd say, I'm gonna get my life together now. I'm gonna turn things around. By <laughs> noon at the craft at the at the <laughs> crafty, he's eating like Sour Patch Kids and a Coca-Cola. <laughs> and I was like, it's over? He's like, it's over. <laughs> but every morning I try to I try to Every reset. morning. Or it's like yeah. when you try to go vegan and you're like, I'm vegan now. I'm vegan I'm for vegan a little today. bit, and then I see him eating like right meat. <laughs> then he's on ribs at Crafty. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm starting today off with a soy uh, patty, a soy breakfast patty here, a little uh, uh, spinach bite here. I made some uh, avocado uh, <gasps> mushed up with uh, some kimchi. So I'm starting wow. with this today. Ooh. Wow, yours looks yeah. amazing. Let's see what I do by noon. 
<laughs> uh, bon appetit, you guys. Let's enjoy some food and continue the conversation. Bon appetit. Today, we're going to be mixing a bullet bourbon black Manhattan. Let's do it. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Yes. Okay, so I sent you bullet bourbon. Open yep. that baby up. And I believe I sent you some Italian Amaro. I know, it just looks so pretty. Oh! What, so what'd you say? What happened? What happened? I didn't expect that to come out so quick. It's totally good. I believe you have some orange bitters and some aromatic bitters as well. Code red already. <laughs> so this is actually gonna be pretty simple. All right, so what you're gonna do, well, let's just get some ice into, let's just like fill it up with maybe what, you might wanna get like a good eight cubes up in here. I have three. Oh, that's perfect, that's fine, you'll be fine. You just want to get a little okay. cold, that's all, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so everybody's got their ice. We're going to be very simple. This is not, I'm not, we're not going to go too crazy with this. We're not muddling or anything. It's just all about the deliciousness of this cocktail. We're going to start with our Amaro and our bitters first, okay? So with your okay. Amaro, the recipe is a, a half an ounce of Italian Amaro. I sent you a tool. You guys have a tool? Yes, half an ounce. That's that bottom part right there. That, the, 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 half an ounce of... Yes. Which one? Is it the long or the short? It's the short. It's the short. It's the little shorty. It's the short. The shorty here. It's gonna go four. Half an ounce of that, baby. Great, you got that. Perfect. Now let's go for a dash of orange Did you bitters just and drink a dash it? of aromatic bitters. Okay. I ooh, <laughs> I drank some of it smell out. The, the bitters smell so good too. You smell the herbs in the bitters. They're fantastic. So you just do one drop. Like a dash? One dash. Make it nice. There we go. Ooh, it smells great. Ooh. This smells good. Now smell the orange bitters. I love ah. the orange bitters smells. Ooh, that oh, smells that's good. That's the one I just put in. Orange bitters is so good, right? And yeah. let's give like a, a dash of that as well. So let's, let's finish this cocktail off, you guys. We're gonna go for one ounce of bullet bourbon. One ounce. One ounce. One ounce. One ounce. Now, Manhattans are normally made with rye, and I tell you this, ah. bullet bourbon is a great alternative since it's a high rye bourbon. So you still get a lot of this bold and spicy character, and it's got this cool finish that feels clean and smooth. Now let's stir this baby up. Kim knows what I know. Go for it, Kim. Come on, Kim. Come on, come on. Here we go. And now let's pour this baby into your cocktail. Glass. Oh, we don't no, shake it? You don't want to shake it? No, we're not going to shake it. We're going to stir, stir it. it. Yeah, we're going to stir it. Stir it. I'm not shaking it. So a nice stir, get it nice and cold. Get it around there. Make sure that ice doesn't Do I have to do this thing? Yes, and you're oh, going to take I... the strainer. Yeah. Perfect. That didn't I want... You're going to strain it right inside that baby. Oh, I messed up. I did. I mixed it in this, Coleman, not in the pitcher. I thought the pitcher was just for the ice. You can totally do that. That's totally fine. As long as just it's not up. very aesthetically pleasing. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. You, you, oh, I did it. You're at home. Okay. Look how beautiful that. But you Cheers. need a cherry in there. You need a cherry in there. Okay. Oh, ready? Cool. You got a cherry okay. in there? By the way, this these cherries look so good. They come from my garden, you guys. <laughs> Are, you Are you kidding? Serious? No. <laughs> Come on. Wow. I'm totally Look at this. Yay. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Yay. <laughs> for the recipe for the Black Manhattan for you guys back at home, just go to amc.com slash brunch. Cheers. And let's cheers. Let's have a toast. Cheers. <laughs> cheers, everyone. Cheers, everyone. Hey, cheers. 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 Good brunch. Good life. Good love. Yes. Cheers. To to old old new friends and new new friends. Drink responsibly, all right? <laughs> That's delicious. This is really good, actually. It feels like a snowy night in Manhattan. Brett, I want to start off with you. I noticed that you've upped your fashion game, apparently. Look at you with chains and all the good stuff. How do you describe your style? I would describe my fashion sense as, uh, as jaddy. <laughs> As, as Jewish what? zaddy, as Jewish zaddy, so that could be <laughs> high high end I've fashion. Never heard of you know, I've never heard of jaddy before. I've I never heard of jaddy either. There's, you know, you got some 
high-end fashion in there, but you also have some like, uh, you have some streetwear at times, you know? It's all serving <laughs> this, uh, this Meyer Lansky, <laughs> if he were alive today, type of aesthetic. Kim, Kim, you're such a versatile actor. You portrayed many compelling characters. So my question to you is, what do you think of Brett's fashion? <laughs> I, I don't, all I'm getting is the collar up and I think it's, it, it, today it feels sort of like, he's got like a 70s vibe to me. I do rock a 70s vibe often. Yeah. I do like the 70s aesthetic. This is a vintage uh, Ralph Lauren denim. Kim Dickens, you know what, the, the thing that I know about you is that I think that you are very good at so many things. What is something that you feel like that you wish you had more of a skill set to do? Something that you're lacking? Because I think you can do anything. I wish I was a better singer. Like I can sing, you know, like a person. Which is I know fine. exactly what you mean though. I could sing like a person and it's fun and I'm I love country music and my dad was a country music singer and songwriter and mm. that would be fun just to belt out to really be able to like sing great. Yeah. <laughs> Alicia Devon Carey, you are an incredible dancer, um, but you're also obsessed with space. I am, yes. <laughs> what intrigues you about it? I don't know, it's a funny thing. I feel like people are really like, uh, they think I'm really knowledgeable about space. Mm. Someone got really invested in wanting to see how much I knew about space and I did an interview and they asked me all these mm. crazy questions which I had no idea <laughs> of the answers, like no clue. They thought you were an expert suddenly. Yeah, the moon's like doing this, what like what orbit would it be? And I was like, no. <laughs> what? You're like, you're like, got me. I, I was like looking I was like, up there. I just think Jupiter's really pretty, okay? Like <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Brett, one of the many wonderful things about the show Fleabag is that we're privy to the main character's internal monologue, okay? So Brett, let's take a moment and have you take us through your internal monologue right now and let us hear everything you're thinking in this moment. Okay, really? Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, good. I'm so glad that I'm finally talking. Was I silent for too long? <laughs> I'm not talking enough. <laughs> am I not being funny enough? And am I being sexy funny or am I being like, you know, like Jewish troll funny? <laughs> I want to take another bite of my burrito, maybe, but actually, I'm not sure. So, you know, it's a lot of a lot of a lot of back and forth, second guessing about very mundane things. <laughs> Thank you, Alicia and Kim. I want to talk about Fear the Walking Dead. There's one question that I know all fans want to know: Where did your characters get an endless supply of skinny jeans? <laughs> My character just made sure we had what we needed and she grabbed those skinny jeans and we left and we just, you know. My daughter's gonna need lots of skinny jeans as mm -hmm. we go on this We're gonna need so. to look good during this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like we would say that, you know, everything was destroyed except the Zara. The Zara survived, you know? It sure did. <laughs> now I have a serious question. Okay, you guys, when this pandemic is all over, what do you hope to do? Um, what are you longing for right now? Travel. Travel and family. I miss my family so much. Mm. Kim? I miss hugging my friends. I miss uh, my family, so I wanna go see them in Alabama. I actually, I miss working, you know? I feel yeah. nervous, like I really wanna work. How about you, Brett? I do miss the freedom. And I think that, you know, there's, there's people who are, feel like their freedom is being taken away from them. <laughs> It's like, and it is, our freedom is being taken away, but uh, by by a virus, not by an institution, exactly. Yes, not by an institution. And also that it's us against the problem and not us against each other. The starting place should be compassion and we should be taught that. We should be taught it by our government. We should be taught it in school. Ethics, morals, you know. But also that's the thing, that's the only way we're gonna move forward. And I think that's why so many things are happening right now at the same time. Yeah. We're, we're being called upon to be our, our better selves and to actually just look out for one another truly and not let yeah. it be political, not be about what you believe or faith. It's mm -hmm. just like, let's, how do we just take care of each other? Because taking care of each other is just, it's such an act of love and grace. And we just need more of that, truly. 
You three are very talented actors, but besides acting, what hidden talents do you have? I know you got some. Your secret flair, we'll start with Miss Kim. I think, or what I'm told in my house is that I have the, a lot of similarities to the character of Madison in Fear. And like, there be times in my life when my friends are like, oh, that was Madison. That and I was a really good waitress. <laughs> mm. I is beautiful, beautiful, I think you are too. <laughs> what about you, Miss Alicia Devon Carey? I have been painting. <laughs> Yes. Let's see, painting, let's see. The painting I have, it's half finished and I hate it. I'm pretty sure. Let's see it. We have to see it. Let's see yeah, it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. I've been trying out a whole new thing. I don't know. Look, I hate the green a lot. Oh, beautiful. wow. That's great. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Brett, Brett really likes that. I do. I, it's beautiful. I love the. I love it. It's Brett like just woke up. Schemes exactly. It's like he just woke <laughs> up and the sun, the sun, sun came shining. I stopped because I hated it. Alicia, it's, it's great. If you hate it, that means you should continue with it because you're on the so. verge of a discovery. Brett, what about you? I can do this. Uh, oh my God, that's so uncomfortable. I, I'm, I'm stressed <laughs> out. <I'm very> stressed <laughs> out. What is that? What is that? Like a, a chipmunk, a possum? What are you doing? I don't know. I started doing it when I was uh, very young, I think, to get <laughs> attention. <laughs> what is that? You can't unsee that, though. That's the thing. No. <laughs> no, but I think, you know, I, I think it's, I, it is a talent. I don't know exactly what it's for or what, how it benefits anything, but maybe, at some, you know. At some point during this pandemic, you'll figure out what it's for because it'll, you'll just have a need for it. Just like, it's just. And I think all of you, I think the three of you and whoever's watching this will think on that and it'll make them feel something in a way that they've never felt before. And it's good to have brand new feelings. Uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but a certain kind of discomfort. And then you have to ask yourself, why am I uncomfortable? But we won't go into that. Right? <laughs> well, you want to know what my, my hidden talent is? <laughs> yes. <laughs> when the cameras my are off. <laughs> exactly. My hidden talent is uh, finding things that other people lost. And it's a hidden oh. talent. Exactly. Oh. Like this. What is that? This is something it's that a lighter. Brett, Brett, Gel Brett Gelman left this at my house. Don't think so. I did. Yeah, you, I you did. Left this. Yeah, we, I we left that it. lighter at your house. Oh you my did. god! A, oh, and it's awesome. And I use it all the time. You can keep it. You can keep it. Can, it's yours. I, I thought it was like something like your mother gave you or something. <laughs> my mother gave me a lighter. <laughs> Smoke, <laughs> honey. <laughs> honey. <laughs> Honey, you know what would make me really proud? Smoke. <laughs> you guys, I want to say thank you. Let me, let's have a toast to this great conversation. We went all over the map and I appreciate you for it. Thank Woo! you so much. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for having brunch and getting to know each other just a little bit more. I love and care about you. And uh, remember everyone back at home, drink responsibly. All right. Cheers, you guys. Love you. Cheers. Beautiful love you, meeting you both. Love this was you. so Bye. great, guys. Love you. Mm. You guys take care. I'll see you again next week for some more Bottomless Brunch of Coleman's. Remember, drink responsibly. Take care of yourself and take care of each other. Ciao.